Yo, what is up, everyone? I'm always going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jacked. Now, today, we're continuing off here on official PvP. We're on Ragnarok. We're chilling out here in the middle of the ocean. I figured we'd just start out here. This raft we built a few episodes back, and I figured I'd just show you a few changes that I made to it. Obviously, I didn't do a few things correctly the first way around. Just had to come out here, fix them up. So, Turrets now on the outside of the railings. I tested that one out, and that's definitely not a good idea to have them on the inside of that. My bad. People people getting so triggered on me for that one. Holy crap, guys. All right. Anyway, railings on the outside. We've got some turrets on pillars. I actually didn't do that part. Somebody else did that, but um, I appreciate it. It looks nice. And also, I took the railings off the top. Really no no need for them there. Now, the last time I tried it with the railings, they were able to shoot down, but I think it was a different situation, so I... I was just misinformed, all right? My bad. Um, anyway, what we're going to be doing today, besides hanging out here on this boat, it is kind of, it's peaceful out here, isn't it? Um, we are going to be taming up a Megalania. It's something that I have never tamed before. It's something that a, a, someone in the tribe wanted me to tame, or wanted to tame. I think they got, like, a really good saddle, and really just want to put that to use. Also, kind of, I guess in, in kind of celebration, that there's no longer a dino tame limit here on PC. It used to be that 500. We were getting, like, drastically close to it, and we kept having to put other dinos into alt tribes and stuff, so that's nice. Um, but we're also going to get going on a crafting character so that we can craft up some decent gear for ourselves okay here we go so i found a 140 out here a little bit earlier i went back and got darts and everything that we're going to need i think it's going to be a really annoying tame i don't know i've never tamed one before because on the island where i used to play they were like really really hard to find but here they're not so bad being out here on the beach and stuff um okay dang it it wasn't too long ago that i left a 140 over here i hope then I can still find it. Let me search around a bit, and we will see if it's still here. Alright, unfortunately I did not find the 140. That was definitely going to be a good one, but found a 145. Definitely cool, but ugly. This one is an ugly Megalania, sadly. What is this one? Oh, there's the 140. It's cooler color. And there's another one over there. Yeah, see, what is that one's level? Oh, wow. Yeah, see, the crap one looks the coolest. So that's usually how it turns out. Let me just get rid of these ones. We're going to want to get these out of the way because once I start knocking out the other one, these are going to get pissed. So I'm just going to knock them out from the back of the griffin. If I get on foot, he's going to give me mega aids. So basically, these guys make you contract the the super rabies, or whatever the heck that thing's called, and it's, it's really annoying to have. So we're not going to... Uh, try and get that now I'm gonna clear out these get the area nice and secure and then we're gonna knock this ugly Megalania out okay I've been shooting this thing for a bit kinda getting worried on how many darts it's taking I don't wanna run out but I think it's oh great two minutes alright we've got two minutes to knock this thing out and to hope for the best. It is running though, so I don't think we're gonna have to shoot it for very much longer. Come on, you gotta go down before the servers go down. If it rolls back and this thing like eats me while I'm offline, I'm I'm gonna be pretty pretty enthused. Wait, wait. Did he just try to bite me? Maybe he's not running away. Maybe he's just not so smart. Okay, we gotta be getting close though because I came here. No. Oh no, yeah, he's just he's just weird. Okay, um, I came here with fifty darts. We're down to eight. What was that? <laughs> Belly flop in the sand, and we are getting drastically close to running out. So, please. Oh no. All right, now I've got the mega aids. This is not good. I, I've got health, Bruce, so I won't die from it. What the hell? Why? I'm, like, stuck inside of his body. Whoa! Hey, that wasn't two... Was that two minutes already? That was not two minutes. Not good. Okay. I, I'm i assuming that his torpor is gonna... There's another person here, too. Oh, God. I can't be near this, this beach bob. If I'm near this beach bob when the server comes down, he, if he wakes up before me, he's gonna jack my stuff. Okay, um... Stop eating me. All right, we're going to... We'll, we'll be right back. All right, look at the torpor drop on this thing. Just knocked it out. 
It's ridiculous. It's like a big Demetrodon. It's crazy. Anyway, knocked it out. Was really annoying, actually. My griffin's over there. I just want to make sure that this thing gets some narcos in it before I go and get it. Um, I had to re-knock this thing out. It was really, really annoying. The torpor obviously reset after I had gone down with the server because we were probably a few darts away from knocking it out at that point. And I had to go back, get more darts, and restart the thing. So this has been a little bit more of a process than I would have hoped, but hopefully this thing turns out to be decent. It's got like 3k HP starting out, so they do have a decent amount of HP. It's not like a bad start for stats, at least. It's pretty much average across the board. Um, I think we might be able to put this thing to use in some way. Uh, maybe even if it's dropping C4 into places where we could just crawl with this instead of using a grappling hook. I'm not sure, but we'll definitely see what it's like once we tame it up. Only going to be a two and a half hour kibble tame. I say that with a lot of sadness. All right. Surprisingly, it has survived on the beach. I really shouldn't have knocked it out here, but I've seen a couple people run past. There's actually uh, a nice guy who is hanging out with me over here level one nice nice bob and he was seeing a megalania tame for the first time where's he's over there somewhere i think he passed out he got sick of waiting i was about to get sick of waiting too two and a half hours of sitting by this thing finally ready to eat so it's gonna take like 21 kibble if he eats it of course i'm really scared so we're just gonna come take the kibble out of this or something all right, we'll just let this eat. We'll be right back. Come on. There we go. All right, let's see what it's like. 4K HP. Stamina, I don't know. Melee, eh. I don't really know how any of these stats work on a Megalania, but 4K HP is pretty decent. I feel like we could, we could hit some, we could get hit by a few bullets with a decent saddle while placing C4. Of course, if you get shot off the back, that's not good. The only place I see this being useful is if people are built on pillars and don't have defenses below. I think you could crawl up and play C4 with it because Stegos can't really climb walls unless, I mean, unless that's a mutation. But let's get this back to base. We'll be right back. All right. If anything, this thing's pretty funny. All right. So it climbs walls kind of like uh, Thylakaleo, but better. You can go sideways. You can climb structures really well and inside as well as well so look at this thing it's hilarious if somebody i mean obviously somebody would see you really easily but if they didn't you could definitely snipe from these i think but check it out he goes over all these pretty well i was actually going around the whole pillar oh oh that's oh i don't like that at all okay maybe you could i guess you could oh this is making me oh it's making me nauseous. That's weird. I don't like it at all. There's no... Uh, can I get this thing to go straight? I don't have anything... I don't have any simple rifle ammo to test out. I was going to see if I could hit that turtle, but whatever. I'm not going to waste darts on it. Now, there is no bullet sway. Or, like, gun sway while shooting from the back of these, so that's kind of nice. I think... Like I said, I can put this to use in some way. Not sure what that is now, but it is a pretty cool tame. I've never had one, like I said. Well, now we, can, we well, now we can't say that anymore. We, we've got one, and this is pretty pretty cool. Gotta, I gotta say. It's like a bad Thylakaleo, but with good AI. It's like you should mix the two of them together, and you'd get a semi-decent dino. Uh, anyway, how much damage does it do? Is it going to like kill stuff in a few hits? All right, this better be like a level 150 Pariser. It definitely is not. 55, yeah. These are weak. Okay, don't attack with them. Look at the attack, by the way. I'm done attacking you. <laughs> what is that? All right, hey, all right. Let's move on to something else. We're going to get that crafting character all set up, and we're going to craft us some personal gear. Okay, I decided where to put this before I go and get that crafting character. Now you can just take them right literally onto the ceiling. This might be the one use for them. 
hang them like lamps from all of your ceilings. If somebody comes in, they'll give them mega rabies. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Okay, if you get nauseous easily, don't look at this. This is just weird. Or maybe I'll just AFK up here at all times. Alright, I'm done with this. This is just... I'm gonna put it directly in front of the door. <laughs> this is too much. I had to put some kind of use to this because, you know, I just spent the last two and a half hours taming it. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna chill when we're AFK. Just, you know, in case. Anyway, now I have to make up a mind wipe, and we're going to get that crafting character all set up. Okay, so we've got a mind wipe to make. Let me see if I've got any narcotics to get working with. We need narcotics, stimulants, come on. And some cooked prime meat, I do believe. Okay, no narcotics made up. I think I'm going to have to craft some of those up quickly. Anyway... I do have this second character. I did mention this in one of the last videos. I, I noticed that I haven't really said much about it, but I've got that second character um, that I'm going to be using for crafting speed. It was the character I named Human, and then, you know, I hit level 86 and decided it was probably a bad idea to use a character named Human, which is, like, the same as everybody who doesn't want to make a name. So let me see what I've got here. I don't think I have everything to make it for sure. We're definitely going to have to get a few things. So let me do that. We'll be back in a second. Alright, got all the prime meat that I need. Now, let's make up this mind wipe. I also made some narcotics. I think we have some somewhere, but I figured I might as well just make up a batch from the crops. Now, I have been okayed to show off the base, or at least the outside, some of the main things and whatnot. So. You might be seeing some of the base here in the future. Like I said previously, I just, you know, I didn't want to show off a lot of it because we're still building up, still filling a lot of the areas and whatnot, and it's just really dangerous to show off weak points and stuff, you know, early on. I'm not going to be doing any crazy base tours or anything, but you should be able to pick up a lot of it as we go through. We'll see it piece by piece, and then at some point, we'll put it all together. Let me gamma up here. Alright, I just need Majos. We're set. Somebody cleared them out a bit ago, it seems. Alright, let's cook this thing up. I think this is everything I need. I hope I haven't forgot anything because... There. Alright. Because I tend to do that, and we've got a mind wipe. Ah, back to the starting character. There we go. Someone... Did somebody die here? Oh, wow. Useless. I'm on some random server that I just had this character stash on. For now, it's always good to have a few extra characters just in case you lose one in transfer, which is always, always the, the fun part about Ark. So I need to get this guy to an obelisk, probably just run him over to red, and then we'll get him back and mind wipe him all into crafting skill. Alright, so here we go. I know it's not a full level 100 character, I'm probably going to have to let this guy sit around and just soak up some passive XP one night. And we should be able to get them a little bit higher. We do have a higher crafting character in the tribe, but I figured it's hard to, you know, communicate with everybody to get that crafting character online, and I figured I just need my own at some point. Now, we do have our own personal vaults as of recently, so I need to start filling it up with gear. Um, I pin-coded them, but I think I forgot the pin code, to be honest, so we're going to have to fix that later. Um, anyway, uh, what we're going to craft up is, I think I want to do a couple shotguns just for running the Ice Queen. I've been using decent shotguns, but it's always nice to have a good, um, one ready for just running that Ice Queen. And then I also want to make this flamethrower, I think these are all actually fabricator things. I want to make this flamethrower up, and then also a few good scuba sets. Good Dura scuba is actually really nice to have so that's why i want to have a couple of those they're pretty cheap for a good durability um these aren't like top tier things but they are some things that i want to have around we're also going to make up some flak i think just a couple sets to have in our uh, war vault i suppose okay here we go finally have enough polymer to do this 
I just want a few things of each. Basically, I have been... No. Oh, the... <sighs> this always happens with polymer. Freezes your screen when moving a large amount. Uh, but anyway, I've just been pretty much farming for the tribe, give, putting all my resources towards the tribe. If I find anything, I just give it, you know, to people to put into the vaults and stuff. And, you know, I haven't really been keeping anything to myself. So it's going to be nice just to have a few things that we have just to use. Um, I always just find it it's best, you know, at the beginning to do that at least because there's not resources just going around to be making personal gear. It's better that everything goes to everyone. So... It's finally that time we get a little bit of personal stuff, which is kind of nice. Anyway, I need a little bit more from you. You got more, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what rolls we've got on these. Always the best part, seeing the stats. Okay, just crafted up my first shotgun. 206? It's not that good of a crafting bonus. Let's see what the second one is here. So yeah, that only got a 25% crafted skill bonus. So not crazy, but definitely better than the, the blueprint quality. Come on, let me see what this one's going to be. Let's see it. Right, let me craft one of those. Oh, that one came out better. That's not too bad. Definitely could be better, but 34%. I can deal with that. Alright, let me get a few more things and we'll craft up this flamethrower and some more scuba. Okay, let's go. Give me that good skill. 40.7. Well, it's the best one so far. And it's kind of good that it's on our flamethrower. We're going to have to mass produce these at some point. I just wanted a few. Just because we've got this crafting character over here at the, at the point in time. I need to level this up a lot more before we start doing good fabbies and stuff. Alright, I'll just make the rest of this polymer, I think, into these. I'll probably go get more polymer later, and we'll just make up a bunch more stuff. Alright, last thing I'm making up with the crafted skill before we put this guy back where he belongs is a few sets of flak. I just want a couple of them. I'm not going to be wearing really, really good flak anywhere, probably, so this is it's about as good as it gets for as uh, cheap of a cost as possible. I can just mass produce this stuff. I'm going to make a few more. I just want at least two full sets of each of these. And we'll see where the crafting skill gets us with that. The weight of this character is horrible. I can literally only carry that much metal at a time. It's pretty, pretty bad. So the durability on these is going up with the bonus. That's all we can ask for. And it's not too bad for the cost, obviously. So what's the best crafting like bonus that I got out of these? 27, 13, 9, what? 42, okay. Got a good pair of gauntlets, 37, 24, really? 3? What is that garbage? 3, seriously? That can't even be real. 35 and 30, okay. Nothing above 50, but hey. That's where we're going to stop for today. If you like this video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Y'all have a great Easter day, and of course, we'll catch you next time.